Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. How are we? Okay. Hey Robin, Bronwyn, Catherine, how are you guys? Welcome back. I thought um, this afternoon I would do a scrapbook layout with none if not a very small amount, like an epically tiny amount. Oh, why is that screen out of focus? I wonder if my Wi-Fi is on. Hang on a minute. Hey Karen, hey Robin, hey Mel, Catherine. Sorry guys, if you get seasick. Look away. Just need to take it out of the mount here and check my connection. And I seem to be okay. All right. Oops. 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 Shit. All right, let's have another go. <laughs> Sorry, girls. Um, okay, so I thought I'd do a scrapbook layout. My, um, yeah, with very minimal, if not no mixed media at all. Um, I don't know if I will just do uh, maybe a little bit of splattering towards the end or something along those lines, but this is going to be my last live Facebook of the weekend and um, I am absolutely knackered, have got a whole heap of orders that I need to pick and start packing. Um, <laughs> you're really funny, Karen. I see you writing those smart ass comments there, but hello. Um, so yeah, I thought I would just um, do a quick talk you through um, scrapbooking layouts using AB Studios paper. Now, to be perfectly honest, all I have done here is I've taken it out of the plastic so I didn't get any glare and I have not looked at the papers. I have not prepared myself. The only thing that I have done is drawn a super rough mud map to get me going and that's about it. That is all I have done. Um, hey Kelly. Um, so this is the first time that I have looked at this particular paper collection. So AB Studios, um, uh, Polish brand, beyond stunning. Um, now before I do anything else, can I just ask, is the screen that you guys can see in focus or not? Or is it just my shitty, dirty screened iPad? Kelly and Karen and Robin, are you, um, is your screen in focus? Sorry, I've got to wait for the delay. I've got a thumbs up there, so. Yep, all good. Okay, right, let's crack into it then. Um, so, AB Studios, this is the Never Never Land. So these are lovely papers and they are really, really nice. Ooh, and they're a lot, wow. Comes and goes in focus. Elizabeth, yeah, so do I actually, love, let's be honest. Um, so these are the papers, they are really thick paper. So they are double-sided and they've got a really nice weight to them. There are 250 GSM, which is important because they are really, really nice if you're going to add mixed media to them or some sort of, oh, some sort of water to them. Um, so yeah, there's plenty of um, weight to this paper and quality. So this is the uh, Never Neverland collection and it's really, really pretty. So I'm going to do two quick scrapbook layouts because I'm an overachiever. Um, is that a duplicate? Have I already seen that one? Uh, 
No. Big flowers, little flowers. All right, so when I create a couple of layouts, the first thing I want to do is look at the paper collection and just like I've done and go through and see what is here. Um, I want to use this in my embellishing, so I'm going to put that aside to make sure that I don't cut it up. Um, I'm not going to use this one in my embellishing because, I mean, that one would be okay, but it's a big image, so I might just pop that aside. Um, lots of fussy, cu fussy cutting available on this one, but I really like the back more. Um, I know that this paper here, I'm going to fussy cut, so I can put that one aside and... Oh, but that one's nice too. First world problems, hey? These are nice, but I probably won't use them as individual cards based on the ideas that I've got in my head. Uh, that is a great bold pr um, print. That's a bit weird, but that's gorgeous. And that's kind of gorgeous as well. All right, so uh, a lot, I've used, um, I've pulled out some white Kayser Craft cardstock. This is going to be my base. I've gone for white because there is white in the background of the papers and these have a nice crisp whiteness to them. Um, I'm going to base my layouts around a single 6x4 photograph. Sorry, drink break. Um, I've got my Fiskars paper trimmer here, which honestly I have not used in forever because I usually use a big guillotine. Um, <laughs> so, oh, sorry, I'm just reading the comments as we go here. Um, and yeah, Leslie's just said that she buys two sheets of the paper. Um, I, I'm hearing you on that actually. I quite often do that too. But what I'm going to do today, because this is in a pack and I don't sell single sheets, it kind of works out a little bit nicer to uh, and and more cost effective just to be a little bit smarter with your um, papers. So I'm going to start a simple layering process. Um, this is a really nice paper. I, I really love this deep burgundy. Uh, and I'm going to just start... Laying out some papers uh, on my page. I'm going to go six and a half. And I'm not an overthinker. I don't procrastinate around and my blade is super blunt. So, because my blade is super blunt, I'm we're going to rock that distressed look today. Um, so, I've just got my craft knife. and I'm going to embrace it. And rather than thinking too much about this, I'm just going to stick it down because the more I procrastinate, the longer I'm gonna be here, you guys will lose interest and I've got things to do. So let's just commit to it. The really cool thing about creating layouts like this out of one paper collection is there's not a whole lot of thinking involved because the papers all go together. So no matter what I choose, I don't have to overthink it and try and match up colours because, hey, it's going to work. So, hi Kayleen. Um, and you'll notice that I didn't tape right to the edge. I never tape right to the edge. I might want to tuck something in under here. I might want to lift it. I might want to do something else to it. So I tend to not do that. Um, my photo is here. So normally it's a six by four. I never have an exact six by four image. I always trim a little off. So I've trimmed this down to be... Uh, Oh, look, that looks to be about five and a half. No, yes, five and a half by three 
and a half. So most of my photos are always trimmed down to get rid of the crap around the outside. I'm going to go for a horizontal photo today and my photo is going to go right here. Now, I'm going to put another piece of paper smack, dang, smack down the middle. What's it going to be? It's going to be this one. Why not? So this measurement here was six and a half. So I need to make this one a little smaller. Just going to trim off the barcode. This is my my standard uh, standard recipe, I guess, for scrapbooking. I I love to do things easy. I don't like when it comes to paper. The simple formula, and anyone who has bought any of my kits will know this as well. That um, they are all a simple formula, and I create the bases of the page first. So just distressing the edges up on that one. Again, two bits of double-sided tape. At the moment, my favourite tape is the 12mm. I've been using that religiously. Oh, man, I've got I've had the door open and I've got a big blowfly in here somewhere. Is there nothing more annoying? All right, and I'm going to pop that there. So you'll notice that the tape I've got, you know, it's a good two fat fingers in from the edge. And I do that so if I want to tuck something underneath, I can. That looks great to me. So my photo is going to go here. Now, when I match my photo onto my page, um, and again, anyone who's Bought any of my kits will know I quite often mention I cardboard mount so cardboard mounting is nothing more than me being a bit of a tight ass and not wanting to use any any double-sided tape if I use foam tape um, quite often if you put two strips of foam tape there it can get a little bit sinky in the middle so I tend to upcycle my cardboard boxes and use um, pieces of cardboard this is the um, in the previous video when I did a little walk around at the beginning this is the crafters companion desk size trimmer this is one that I love the hell out of I use this all of the time and it's got the little scoring thingy in it that if you want to score something you can just get into the little grooves um, these are available online under tools, but I really, really love this trimmer. And no, it doesn't have a fold-out arm or anything like that. It's just awesome like it is. So, um, all right, so double-sided tape all the way around. If you have any questions, please just ask. They will pop up on my screen, on my iPad here in front, so I can see um, if you have anything. Uh, so this is my my trick for creating quick and easy scrapbook layouts. All right, so this one I'm just going to go straight back in here. And looking at this, if I I want to embrace this bit of the of the paper. This bit I'm not too fussed about, so I'm going to go about there. And I can't tell if it's straight because I'm sitting down. But you know what? That's fine. So I've still got room in under here to tuck things in when we get to that point. All right, so that is what is called my base page. So I'm going to pop that aside and I'm going to whip up another one. Here's my next page. Uh, what are we going to do? So this time I want to go for a big piece of paper across the top. Um, and then... I don't know what after that. 
So coming back to, to these gorgeous papers, what have we got? That's really pretty, but it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm drawn to that one, but I'll just, I'll come back to it. That's really pretty. All right, bugger it, let's commit. So this is the big bold one I'm using and I'm going to Sorry, just having a moment. Let me think. Um, all right. Change my mind. I'm look what I'm what my thought process here is that I want to put a piece of paper across the top put my photo in and, and cascade some images and some bits and pieces down from there. So what I'm thinking is if I go with this one across the top and add more flowers, it's gonna be way too many flowers. So I know that I've got all of these fussy cutting elements to add on. So if I go with that page here, it's just gonna to be too much. So this is better. Making sense? So six inches and again I need to rough up that edge because my trimmer is blunt. Now instead of putting the, uh, the tape straight onto my paper I'm going to run it across my page this time and I'm doing this because I haven't exactly decided if I'm going to slide another bit of paper underneath yet. Um, oh, for goodness sakes, here we go. Oh, okay. And again, that concentration, you should be able to hear that coming out of my head. There we go. <laughs> All right, so that works for me. Stuck down so now I want to find something with a little bit of depth so I might actually go back to this bit here my off cut from before and cut a actually I should have torn that that would have been better but I didn't so Let's just commit to it. Might have been nice with a great torn edge. Again, because my blade is blunt, commit to that. So this piece is about an inch and a bit. You know, it's two fat, two fat fingers, universal measurement of the scrapbooker. Um, well, my fat fingers anyway. I don't know about anybody else's. So, oh, you may have noticed I use my Alpha craft knife for snapping off my tape and also this is my trick for getting the back off the tape. I get my knife and I get it in, where is it, like that and I peel it back. So it's a multi-tool. So rather than arguing with the, double, the backing of the double-sided tape, I tend to do peel it off like that. So, and I just realised how dirty my hands are. Sorry, girls. Um, so I'm going to pop this on in under here. Close enough, straight enough, and now I can just bend those edges up a little. Distress them a little more. And I 
I'm good to go. Okay, so my photo mat, I need to do that. My bit of cardboard because I'm not using foam tape because I can't find it and this is a bit more sustainable and I'm upcycling. And pop that there. All right, so I want to stick this about here. But before I do that, I think it needs to sit on, it needs a bit of a, a perhaps some paper under there as a photo mat. So rather than... Um, just sticking it straight down, which would work just fine. I'm going to mount it on some paper. Um, I think it needs a little bit more of this, so I'm going to use that one. And just pulling out the rest of these papers. The back of that one that I cut earlier, I can use the back of that. That's a bit much. And I could probably use one of these cards. So what I would like to do first of all is have a bit of a play with how they're going to look. So I like the dark, the white, the, sorry, the photo, then dark, then light. Or do I want to go the other way, which is what I think I want to do. So first I want to grab... Let's get this out of the way because it's annoying. Now, I don't tend to measure off any pieces of paper when it comes to matting my photographs. I like the idea of using offcuts and smaller pieces and making it work for what I'm doing. So all I've done now is I've just cut two random pieces of paper. Uh, I'm going to, oh, and I've actually fluked that and it is, it's kind of perfect. I don't think I could have done that again if I tried, but let's commit to it. So it's got a little bit of a border all the way around. Going in with my knife. Uh, so what I want to do next is I want to pop this on, but I'm just going to work from my photo down. So I like to do it this way because I it, it's quick and easy and it's a good way of using it off cuts and scraps. Um, and I tend to use glue more than I will use anything else for this purpose. Just a little dob in the middle. And that's going to work. So I'm going to start working back this way. And the glue doesn't take long to dry. And because I didn't go edge to edge to edge, I've still got the ability to be able to slide some photos in underneath that. Uh, can I use something on the back of this? Can I use something on the back of that? Let's have a look and lay it on my page to see how it looks. So this is where I'm heading. Let's have a play with one of these little guys here. So I like the look of this one. And I'm pretty handy with a pair of scissors when it comes to photo matting. I find it so much easier and so much, um, I'm a bit more relaxed about how I create when I've got a pair of scissors in my hand. Um, barcode strip, it's really nice. I'm gonna use that too.
and that wasn't even remotely close to being straight, but I'm okay with that. And I'm going to pop, cut it in half. And I'm going to glue there. And glue there. Have a little piece there. Do the same thing so it's kind of popping out the bottom. And I'm just building my little story stack. And what did I do with that off cut? Nearly ditched it. There we go. See, that's really cute too. So I think that that can probably add a little pop of colour up the top there. And again, quick glue. Doesn't always have to be double-sided tape. And like I said, that's just from the barcode strip. And I'm not worried about this too much because I'm going to cluster some flowers in and around here. So uh, I could quite easily take another pop of the barcode strip. But I'm just going to do that for now. Um, and I'm going to pop another piece of cardboard under that because it is going to sit up on the page. So I've actually got a slightly thinner piece of cardboard and pop that on. So doing okay, what are we, half an hour, 25 minutes in and I have laid down the base of two scrapbook pages. It's actually going to take me longer to fussy cut these flowers. Does anyone just want to quickly pop over and cut all these flowers out for me? That would be great. Thanks. All right. So it's going to go... there so most importantly I've got the ability to slide things in here in here all the way around down here as well so I've got plenty of room to be able to move so there's layout number two um, I could probably whip up layout number three in a really simple design by just going across the middle and then working with a quick, you know, a, a cluster of flowers that go each way. But I'm not gonna do that because I'll be here for like 17 hours cutting out fussy cut bits and ain't nobody got time for that. Um, I really do love this big flower here on this paper, but I'm thinking that it might be a bit much. But what I do like, there's that one there. Yeah, let's cut that one out. Uh, feather. I'm not going to cut these out. That's just way beyond my pay grade. Uh, mm, Maybe, baby, all right, so like just I'm super rough with my cutting because, like I said, nobody's got time to sit here and watch me cut all this out, but I'm gonna just create simple leaf lines. and make it work from there. But this is a, a really simple formula. So I've created those two, two quick backgrounds and then I go back and embellish. Um, so if I'm working with a packet of die cuts or I'm working with papers like this that don't have die cuts or embellishments that go with them, there's no reason why you can't do this 
and and build up your layers from there so um this this is my trick how come nobody volunteered to come and cut do my fussy cutting for me what's wrong with you women gosh you can't get good help can you i just cut that leaf back because i have got no patience for it but we're going to make it work Not one of you put your hands up. Do you all hate fussy cutting as much as I do? <laughs> yeah, thanks, Carrie ann See, you're my favourite today. There you go. If Jessica was here, <laughs> if Jessica was here, I would have her doing it. But that's the perfect way to um, get your 17-year-old to hate you. All right, so. Oh. See, now you're all putting your hands up. Karen, I don't hate, I mean, I'm a bit with you, but I don't totally hate fussy cutting. I just think that it, I could be doing something better with my time. I could, you know, be fluffing around a little bit longer. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're never getting out of Melbourne, sweetheart. I'm really sorry about that. But um, I'm not going to make you guys watch me cut all of those flowers and leaves out. So I think I'll sit on the lounge, um, I don't know, by the time I finish packing orders this time next week. Um, but I'll be able to give you a really good idea on, on how to get this finished. Um, I don't want to include this bit here, but I am going to get this pop of colour in here. So this is going to sit about here to the point where if I think about it too much, I will probably change my mind. So commit, commit, commit. We all know that our first idea is generally the one that we go back to, isn't it? Or is that just me? So that slid in underneath there. You know what? That's that's a bit crap. I'm going to cut that off later. Um, and that is where I'm now getting a bit of direction. So that layout, almost, almost complete. What I will do is I will add some of these flowers, some of the other fussy cutting flowers. Um, I did have that chipboard, where was that? On my desk here somewhere. Bloody hell. Found it, stop looking. All right, these are these are the chipboards from AB Studios as well. I love that they are A4. And they're not quite, I guess they are chipboard, but they're a really lovely white, really pale, pale chipboard. Um, I think these are great. So I pulled a couple of these. Um, this is the Never Never Land collection, Carrie Ann. Sorry, is that what you asked? Yeah. Um, sorry, I'm talking too much. So these will also look nice on my page because they've got those that floral element as well. So they just pop straight out of there. And then I could leave them like that and colour them like that. Or we pop all of these bits out. Um, with my pokey thing, that'll do. And then I've got some really pretty embellishments on my page. Now, the other thing I meant to tell you is the other chipboards that I've got in store for AB Studios look a little strange, but they make the most incredible doors, which make 
you can put on your projects for your uh, on your scrapbook pages or your art journal pages but you could also use them as covers for mini albums or junk journals oh that's what i might do oh i've had an idea can you hear the idea I'm going to do one of those doors as a cover for my junk journal. <gasps> Splendid. So for those of you who don't know, the junk journals are actually on special this weekend. Today only um, until tonight um, at 15% off. The Scrap Effects junk journals. All right. So I've got little flowers here that I can now tuck in and around my edge or I can come down in under here. This is still loose, which is fine because it's not going anywhere because I've used Express It double-sided tape, not cheap shit. So this is going nowhere. So the, the better quality the tape, the less you need. Um, so I can be building in and around there. So, all right. Um, okay, I've just had an idea. Let me just write it down before it disappears out of my head. Um, sorry. Does anybody else do this? If I don't write it down, it's gone. Got it. Sorry. Okay. So... That is something else. These little guys here are going to work really, really well in and around there. So I'm going to come back to this layer. But I have laid down the base for my page. So the same thing here with the second layout is exactly the same concept. Now, I've already stuck this down. So can I match something in and around here? Damn right I can. So let's go with... I can take, I just need to find the right paper to mat it. So let's have a look. That's too busy. I don't mind, I might use one of these strips. That'll work really well. Um, this is pretty, but it's, you know, it's a lot. I've already cut that so I could use that. Um, I've got it, let's cut it. Okay, so what I tend to do is just cut me some strips. One, two, three, four. And now I can slide them in underneath to be whatever size I like. Um, in fact, I'm just going to loosely cut them with my scissors. And I can slide a little in under there and start framing my photo. So even though I've stuck it down, there's absolutely no reason I can't build on this simple design just by sliding in small elements. They don't have to be big pieces. And especially if you are using good quality products, you don't need a lot of tape and glue. You just need to get it on there. So I've still got that piece of cardboard in underneath there. Um, where did the other half of that go? Over here. Now, just a reminder as well, the paper pads are also on special. So they are currently 15% off, which means this whole paper collection that I am using comes in really, really inexpensive. Um, and if you have already placed an order over the weekend, then of course you can build on it just by selecting no judgment at the checkout. Because girls, there is no judgment here. At no point do I go and say, oh my God, I can't believe she ordered 37 times. Absolutely no judgment. because we are paper crafters and we need it all. We need all the things. 
Now I'm not actually worried about my edges being a bit rough because I haven't added my flowers and my pretty bits yet. Um, that fits ish. <laughs> um, yeah, but you know what? It doesn't matter how many times you order as long as A, you're using it, B, you're happy, and you know, you're not taking food off your own table. So, um, I, you know, we just need to do more things to make us happy. And then I've got a little dodgy bit here, but I'm not fussed because I'm going to stick a flower there. So it's fine. All right. So, cool. This is working for me. Um, the rest is going to be cutting out these gorgeous babies. So how do you create a cluster? This is a common question that I get asked. And I was thinking about skipping over this bit, but I do know that a lot of people struggle with creating clusters so I'm going to roughly cut these um, rather than like make them perfect just so that you can see how I build a cluster and work from there um, the flowers that I am choosing I'm thinking here about the colors on my page that I've already got so I want a couple of these I've got this deep burgundy flower there's this really nice pink one here that needs to go on there because there's pink up here and sorry I keep moving my arm around and forgetting that it's on camera and I need to stay in the cut stay inside the lines um, so I want that one I want that one. I want that one. I want this colored one here because there's a little bit of that color in there as well. And I need more than one dark one. Otherwise, it's just going to stand out and it's going to look ridiculous. Um, Forty-five minutes. I'm doing all right. I was a bit stressed that I was going to be too long. And yes, I probably could have fussy cut all of these beforehand, but uh, nah. I have been packing orders and making up bags of awesomeness to send out to you guys. All right, so creating a cluster is, oh, I've got leaves. Leaves we can tuck under later, okay. So creating a cluster is a lot of popping things and moving things around your page and making things look visually appealing and moving them until you are happy with them. I'm just looking at this guy here. And I might just cut him out because that's a nice one that is all joined together. And I like that as a key feature piece, okay? So that makes a little bit of sense. Uh, I'm gonna go around there around there. Um, what I love about the AB Studios papers is that they are made for this. They are screaming fussy cutting and, and beautiful placement of, of images. Um, the only downside that I have seen with, with AB Studios is that all of their design team are diehard mixed media. There's not a lot that I have noticed that do layouts like this, which are not over the top 
and they're all you know most, I don't see a lot of paper based layouts anymore everything's just all hardcore mixed media and that disappoints me a little but because a lot of people don't know how to do that so it's not achievable so um, I think doing you know showing you that you can create with AB Studios papers which are a heavy mixed media brand but not used mixed media it can look really nice all right so that is going to go where is it going to go there okay it's going to go right there and in fact let's get all of these other little babies out of the way again I'm just going to commit to it um, I'm going to commit to it Bit of glue. Da -da. Now, I'm not going to glue the whole thing. I only put a dob on so that I can then take these beautiful little gems and build that cluster around it. So I've given myself one big solid piece, yeah? And I'm not... With the fussy cutting, it's... I'm creating... You know, I'm wriggling my scissors to to create a petal rather than being absolutely perfect about it. Um, this one here is going to, because it's like a, a half flower thingy. Um, it's a flower. It doesn't have perfect edges. I'm just cutting off the white bits and being super rough with it and that will go up there somewhere um, let's just cut the bits off that I know that we're gonna see because I want to cover up this bit here need a bit of depth because I've got that deep purple that's in here and in here so I need a little bit of this depth in here as well da, da. so you can't have music even playing in the background while I'm doing this because then Facebook bans it and flags it and dumps it all right Okay, I need a pink somewhere. Actually, the pink really needs to be up here because of the pink there. It needs to be pink there. So I'm going to pop this guy down in here. And I'm not gluing. I'm just placing just because I'll probably change my mind like 17 times. <sighs> but that's all right. No, I can't change my mind today. I've got to commit, don't I? Because you guys have got better things to do with your afternoon than watch me do this. Where's that foam tape? You know what I need this afternoon? I need to find some of that chocolate that I put in with your customer orders. I do with a chocolate hit. Hey, Tina. Are you still sharing? What are you up to? You know what? I'm going to distress a bit of this. I'm not going to get all your orders out tomorrow if I keep doing this. You'll have to wait an extra day. And I'm tucking that in under there. And I have to go more that way. There we go. <laughs> but you girls actually as, as much as you're watching me you actually need to be doing this as well and creating your own layouts creating your own happy creating your own memories all right 
Don't let me just create stuff for you. Um, alrighty, so there we go. <laughs> okay, I'm just giggling because I'm reading your, your layout, uh, your comments at the same time here and I can see that you're all not that fussed. On, on when you get your orders because you'd rather sit here and watch me. So the other thing that I am going to do, and like I said, I'm not going to do it now, but I will add all those little leaves in as well. So this these flowers are going to get broken up by, by leaves. So I'm only putting in a super small amount of um, glue so that I can take a small piece of foam tape to lift it up. You're shopping while you're watching. Oh, thanks, darling. Um, and okay, so there we go, done, done, done. And that's still lifted, so I can still get some foam tape in under this piece here. This isn't stuck down yet, so I haven't committed to this. This isn't stuck down yet, but the leaf is, this is, is the base is, and I can still build in and around there. Okay, so you can kind of see how that's going. Um, it's, it's quite heavy down here, so I also need to make sure that, uh, you that I'm I'm gonna get some more up in this corner here to balance it out a bit. Um so yeah. Now I noticed that you girls are commenting saying that you're making scrapbook layouts and cards while you are creating. Um I would absolutely love to see what you are creating. Um you know what I send you guys all of this awesome stuff and I'm very very grateful for that. But I never get to see what you guys make with it. I have no idea what you guys make with it. Um, I would love for you to post to my page or there is a, um, a group that I have created called Classes with Natalie May. And um, it used to be just for my local ladies to know when the next lot of classes are. But, you know, come on, that's not happening at the moment. So... If you want to join that, if you just look up classes with Natalie May um, in the groups and request to join, um, I would love to see what you guys are, are making. Um, it, it absolutely, you know, this is why I do all of these demos is so that you guys can learn something new and go and um, go and create. So um, please, please join the group or or share them to my Facebook page, my Natalie May Scrapbooking Facebook page, because I would love that. Um, that's not right. No, I do need to see your stuff, Karen. At no point is it a competition. This is what shits me. This industry, sorry, soapbox time, this industry used to be all about lifting each other up, and then all of a sudden it got competitive which annoys me to no end. Um, I think that, I personally think that we could all benefit from seeing each other's creations, okay? I honestly believe that we could certainly benefit from seeing what everybody creates. I have got art journal pages um, and scrapbook pages that not everybody has seen and that's because they are personal and I understand that, but I'm still very, very proud of them. And at no point am I not, you know, I'm never embarrassed by my work because it is my work, it's my creations. So does that make sense? Um, I don't want you guys to think that, hello Annette, I don't want you guys to think that your work isn't good enough to, to show. Um, I want you to, to share it and be um, uplifted by the encouraging words that others are saying because, um, you know, the, the right sort of people are in my, my Facebook group, for example. They are going to uplift you and they are going to say the things that you need to hear. They're not going to turn around and say, Oh my God, Carrie Ann, that is shit. Or, oh my God, Annette, I cannot believe that you shared that. Like Tina just said then, I'm sure your stuff is amazing. We don't have enough faith in ourselves. We create to make other people happy as well as ourselves. Don't, um, 
Uh, you're not going to get a score out of 10. I'm not going to, like, turn around and say, oh, look, sorry, I think you need to improve that. At no point am I, is anybody going to do that because you, you'd be sharing it in a safe place. And I think that that's super important. So start sharing your stuff. If you want it, if you want some... Um, if you want some advice on on where to pop something or what to do, send me a message. Pop it in there and say, girls, do you think this project is finished? What do you think I could do to add to it? Um, that's, that's what we do, you know. Ask each other for advice. Um, ladies, I, I just think that, yeah, you could definitely benefit from doing that, okay? I'm going to pop that in there. I don't know if I like it or not, but I'm just going to do it. And that's in the way, so I'm going to cut it off. And I'm only... Oh, shit. Oh, Lisa, are you only new? Have you never come across me before? Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am... I am a pretty authentic sort of person. That might be the best way to describe me. Would you guys agree? Um... I've been working, for, and I suppose I should, you know, while I'm cutting here and fluffing around, I should explain a little bit about, ooh, I like that down there. Um, I should should explain a little bit about myself. I've been, um, I'm not new to this industry at all. I have been working and teaching in the scrapbooking industry here in Australia and New Zealand for coming up to 16, 17 years, um, I've worked in a scrapbook shop here in Adelaide and I have, oh, I'm really loving this now, um, and I have, yes, been working and teaching in a scrapbook st store here in Adelaide until that closed down, um, working, I used to go on, around to, you know, go to Queensland and teach at local stores up there, um, you know, Bella Papery and the Crafty Chain, um, go to New Zealand and teach at events. Um, I absolutely love the education side of this industry. Um, I have never taught at a store in Melbourne. Um, Melbourne ladies, I've never been invited to, to work at a store in Melbourne or anything along those lines. Um, not that there, I don't think there is too many around anymore. But Melbourne, I don't know, Melbourne had a, is, a, is a different sort of um, crafting industry I have found. Uh, I have worked, you know, at, at retreats for Hillbilly Scrapbooking many, many years ago. Um, I think I've been to New Zealand about seven or eight times teaching at big events over there, which, oh my God, I love. Um, so... I really love this industry. Um, what else? What else is on my resume? Um, I've got glue under my fingernails. I've got... Uh, I'm the Australian Ambassador and Master Educator for... Um, for Lindy's Gang. Um, what is that, Louie? Oh, you love Hillbilly. Yeah, I, um, I went and taught to... Uh, at Hillbilly and introduced them to scrapbooking and sorry to art journaling many years ago um, and um, I did, did a whole heap of classes at their retreat so I really do love the girls at Hillbilly Jenny and the team so um, but yeah I have I've been everywhere I've been around for like a million years so uh, worked for Paper Rose uh, helped get you know launch their business for a couple of years um, and work with their marketing and etc. Um, and really, really love you know this this whole industry. So this year it's all about um, me working for me instead of everybody else working. You know me working for everybody else. So all right, enough about that. So I have taken these bits of chipboard and just slid them in and around. So this is coming in together pretty good. So the other page, oh, and that's that's the thing about the clustering. You can see how that works now, yeah? Beautiful. I was in Canberra not all that long ago, Leslie. Did I see you there? 
where I had that epic fail with my um, kits and my class. Oh, yeah, and Tina, come on, that's a given, darling. I am an all-round awesome chick, like, seriously. Um, okay, so, and I know how to laugh at myself. Okay, so you can see the cluster. We've got a bit of a story going on here. We've got that frame done there. Okay, layout number two. I decided I really didn't like this, so I've cut that off. Um, so exactly the same thing. So I've still got all of this room under here to to build in and around and build flowers down there. I've got this guy here. I can't. I seem to think that this one might be a bit big. Um, Sandy Spank, I love your face, darling. Um, I just noticed that you're on here and um, I miss you heaps, by the way, FYI. We need to catch up for a serious gin and tonic and um, laugh session, I think. So, um, and same with you, Annette Gearside. I haven't seen you in a bloody long time either, girl. Mind you, let's be honest, nobody's seen anyone in a long time. All right, so I've just hit the one hour mark. I have completed one full layout and I am probably two thirds of the way through this one. Oh yeah, that's gonna work there. You know it's gonna take uh, longer just to punch these bits out, so. So this is the chipboard from AB Studios. Um, not expensive. Um, who's on the website at the moment and can look up how much these babies are, this A4 sheet of chipboard? Who can be my little offsider for today and help me since Miss Jessica's off gallivanting around with her boyfriend? Bless her cotton socks. Um, all right, there we go. So I'm thinking that that can kind of go in and around here. It, did, it will need another flower up there, but I need to fluff around with that. In fact, it will be this one here. $12. Are you kidding? Are they only 12 bucks? I didn't think that they were that, ex that inexpensive, but wow. Okay, there you go. Hello, Tanya Heritage. $12, $12.50. Oh, the price is going up. Nice. <laughs> um, okay, so there we go. So Tanya Heritage just joined in and is watching. Tanya is one of the designers on the Paper Rose team and um, very talented, chicky girl. All right, just got shit going everywhere here now. Hang on. So the thinking is we still need to work on this whole cluster situation. So, 12 bucks. There we go. Thanks, girls. Um, so, the cluster that we need to work with is working around, um, you know, just a little bit up here because I don't want that to disappear. So, I'm going to take oh, this one. Oh, look, I love Paper Rose as well, and I love that they're an Adelaide business right here in my little hometown. Um, my contract with Paper Rose finished at the end of last year, but I still um, regularly, you know, I go and I order their stuff and regularly have it um, in my store. So I think the, the current order that I, I got last week, or this week, the stuff that's online now, the new stuff, um, I don't think has even been released around Australia yet. So there's always that bonus. And anything that you want from Paper Rose, I can pretty much get my hands on before anybody else. So um, because they are here in Adelaide, and it's only a short drive up into the hills to get that, to pick those up, I am more than happy to order Paper Rose products for you. So don't forget that. Um, so the yesterday's, the paper wheel collection, yes, I did design the paper wheel, paper, blah, 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 paper wheel collection, 
paper wheel color wheel collection. So there's um, the Artie Love collection, uh, the hand painted papers. I think there's about five or six designs of hand painted papers that I've done for paper rows, as well as some stamps, Nat's scribbles, Nat's color wheels, um, the Artie Alphas. There's quite a few um, there which are my doing um you know the gum leaf border the snowflake border all of that that's all my designs um and ideas that we yeah kind of work together as a team to build so um i do i do really love the brand and i love the fact that kasha um is creating the most gorgeous papers the sarah's story papers which have just re been released last week are incredible as well as there's the new Christmas one, which I ha that hasn't that's only just been released. I don't think any other store in Australia would have it. Um, I put that online on Thursday. So, um, but yes, I did design those papers for them, which was great. Um, sorry, I didn't design those ones. I designed the other the arty colour wheel ones. Um, yeah, yeah. So Kasha is one of my lovely, lovely friends and she does lots of designing for them too. So, um, yeah, there you go. Now, what else was I waffling on about? Okay, so you can see with this cluster, we're kind of working exactly the same way as I did with the previous one. I've got a few little flowers up here. I am going to slide this guy in underneath. Um, oh, God, I've got chipboard and glue and shit everywhere here. Hang on. And because nothing is stuck down edge to edge, I can slide that in underneath. Um, I've got these flowers here that I'm just going to lightly glue. Only when I glue them, I only glue them on one little bit like you can see so that I can stick up one edge um, so that they've got a little bit more dimension to them. The only thing on this page that um, is, is missing that I will finish off off camera is going other than the photograph of course is the title it's going to need some sort of title and it's going to need a photo of course um, now I don't want to put too much in and around here because I'm really quite liking this Maybe my title needs to go here. That's much better idea. Why don't I do that? Why didn't... Oh, look at me go. Um, so what can I use for my title? What have I got up on the shelf that I can use? Um, oh, there you go. You've got to be a bit gentle with these when you just pop these out because I just broke that bit there. Um, they're kind of like a wood veneer, not a, a chipboard. Um, yes, okay, so let's think about a title. So I know I've got some white um, alphas online that would work. Um, let me... White alphas would definitely look nice. Or something... Or well, black would get lost. Oh, look at that. All right, two seconds, girls. Let me see what I can find in the way of something here for a title. Just um, chat amongst yourselves. Oh. All right, I'm just grabbed the pile of alphas off the shelf, right? So you'll have to just excuse, excuse the glare because everything's still in bags. Um, no, they're not going to work. Happy birthday, party time, no. Oh, the gold ones might work. Okay, that could work. Um, they would definitely work. Um, 
um, wrong colours. Too boyish. Oh. Too babyish. All right. No. Nah. All right, so I don't think that I really need to open a packet, but I definitely think a gold title. I definitely think a gold title will work. So I'm just looking in my own stash to see what I've got. Um. <sighs> okay. Now, I don't know what brand these are. These are not in the store. I've got no bloody idea. So please don't say, Natalie, I want to buy those ones. But I've had them and I no longer do. So. Better Together would definitely be. Would look awesome there. Okay. So, because I've only got two of these left, I'm not going to crack them open just for my own benefit. So, I'm just going to use Friends because I have a photo of my lovely girlfriend Sharon and I that I'm going to put on this page. I've lost my dot. So, I steal a dot from somewhere else. I'm going to steal a, st a dot from this one because I'll never use Smitten. All right. So that's looking pretty good. So I, in a space of one hour and 15 minutes, talked a lot of crap and I apologize for that but um, but I created two scrapbook pages from a paper collection that is under twelve dollars because it's on special I have enough paper left over to create maybe three more scrapbook layouts or a dozen cards. My page is pretty. Um, I still have to add the, oh, I'll use the chipboard too, actually. Sorry, the chipboard's the $12 stuff. Oh my, who am I kidding? Um, and I haven't stuck that down, hang on. There we go. The chip, the paper's not that expensive either, actually. Right. So, yes, created a layout that is super inexpensive. Two layouts in... <laughs> um, two layouts in a short amount of time. I'm going to take some photos of these and... I will add a little bit of greenery to to them as well. Just tuck in some leaves in into here off camera because, like I said, you don't need to see me cutting up leaves because that's boring as heck. Um, but there's no mixed media on here. If I wanted to add mixed media, uh, the easiest thing for me to do in a short amount of time is I've got the um, Alter New Watercolours and if I get the babies open... Um, and I would use perhaps on this page, I would use maybe this colour here or this colour and just do a few little um, splatters in and around. That would work. And it also has this beautiful deep burgundy um, that would look really nice. And I would get some watercolours with this one and do some little splatters in here and up in here using these guys as well so yeah that's all it is just simple little flicks nothing more than that but color wise what would I choose it certainly wouldn't be green but I would go with probably something along these lines because 
it looks like this color collection here was made for this paper range so um absolutely divine so that's it from me today ladies um thank you very much for sticking with me um the sale is on until 9 p.m this evening so until nine tonight you can access 15% off of paper collections, 15% off of Lindy's products. Um, today, 15% off junk journals um, and acrylic paint. Um, there's some other bargains to be had, which you'll find on the website uh, in the show specials tab on the side. Um, other than that, I cannot thank you guys enough. Um, you are honestly the reason why I keep doing this. Um, I am, as you all know, as normal as it gets and um, I don't sugarcoat anything. I am, I, I'd like to call you all my friends because you're not customers at all. I don't see you guys as being customers. I see you as my, my friends. So, um, I hope you are all having a wonderful day and please be patient while I get your postage out to you. I will endeavour to get it. I'll start packing kits tonight or packing orders tonight and it'll be all day tomorrow. So I'll even skip the gym for you guys. How's that? Um, all right. Thank you. Kiss your kids. Wash your hands. Snog your husband. And... Um, We'll chat soon.